Hello and welcome to this video from Sir Assist. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you five tips and tricks to get ahead of the game on so Rare. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. If you're after all the information about so Rare that you bring and handle, then you're in the right place. If you found this video useful, then please bump that like button. And don't forget to subscribe by smashing the big red button and ping that notification bell to be alerted about any new content. If you haven't signed up to so Rare yet, then what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link below to get a free Rare card. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, then drop them below. Also, is there any other videos you'd like to see? Let me know as well. Right, now that's out of the way, let's get stuck into today's content. So, five tips and tricks. And number one is choose top teams as your favourite clubs when you sign up, even if you don't support them. So when selecting your favourite clubs when you sign up to Surrey, you want to make sure that you pick all the top sides, even if you don't support them. This is because you want to be focusing on getting some quality common goalkeeper cards in your initial draft. This is because a high quality common goalkeeper card like Neuer for Bayern Munich could still score around the same points as a lot of the rare goalkeepers in the mid to bottom table teams, even with the 40% reduction. You could also increase the XP of the common cards to increase their scoring capability. This will save you a lot of initial investment as you won't need to shell out a huge amount of your capital on a rare goalkeeper. You can then utilise the common card in your global all-star team and, hunt, and you'll only have to buy four rare cards to start your Sir Rare journey. So top trick number two, select the right captain. Now this may seem an obvious choice, but this is definitely something you want to spend a lot of time thinking about when selecting your team, because your captain gets a 20% bonus on their score, and this can be the difference between finishing with rewards or coming away empty handed. You want to be picking a captain who has the easiest fixture, but also a player who has a proven record of scoring high scores consistently. You also want to make sure he's playing of course, and not injured or suspended. Because having a captain that doesn't start is like a player you have just sold bagging in hat tricks. So number three, top trick. If you're selling a player, put them up for sale a day before the deadline. Now there is a method in my madness here. Well, madness in other managers actually. What you will find is that as a game week is getting closer, managers managers will be scrambling to buy players to fill up their slots for the coming game week and will be more willing to part with their crypto cash to get their team submitted before the deadline, sometimes at a higher than normal price. So listing your card to day or so before the next game week deadline is a good time to list those player cards that are surplus to requirements. It's sometimes like the transfer window deadline day. My other advice would be to not buy a couple of days before the deadline. Just after the deadline is probably the best time to snap up those bargains. Top trick number four. Put some spare players in training every single game week. Now if you want to be the next Alex Ferguson or Jose Mourinho, then you need to push your players to the max. You can do this by putting any cards you don't use into the SO, in the SO5 tournaments into training. Depending on how many cards you have, this can be a bit fiddly and take time, but it's well worth it. This is because game weeks are twice weekly and your unused players can get a lot of training XP as the weeks add up. Your players will get a base XP of 75 in every training session. XP of course increases your card's power and well makes them a better player for your club as they will be able to score more points with increased XP bonus. These XP bonus points can really add up, especially if you have the player for a long time and putting them in, in training will enable them to reach their full potential in terms of so rare scoring. And don't forget to put your cards in the training every week and you'll be rewarded with a squad of experienced players who will get a nice bonus on their scores next time they are called upon. So top trick number five, if you're on a budget, then use two defenders. 
Now, this is for managers who are on a lower budget and don't have a club owner from Russia or the United Arab Emirates to buy the Mbappes and Ronaldos of the Sir Rare World. Then this is the strategy for you. Now, buying two defenders is a great idea if you are if you are on a budget because defenders are the cheapest players on the platform and there's a lot of very good options out there. You could also use a common keeper to start with. Then, you would only need to buy one midfielder and one forward. I'm confident that using this strategy, you could build a decent SO5 team under £300 to enter into the global all-star and reach those ETH thresholds most weeks, if not every week. If you do your research and buy the right players, that is. So there are the five tips and tricks that you want to be utilising today. Doing all these things will give you that slight advantage over a lot of managers on Sir Rare and you'll be able to you'll be on your way to winning those sought after rewards in the not too distant future. If you have any thoughts on today's video, then drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to the channel by smashing the subscribe button below. Don't forget to ping that notification bell to be the first informed about any new videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at Assist and check out our website at SirAirAssist.com. Links in the description below. There's also a link in the description to Sir Rare if you want to get signed up today and access those all important free cards, including a free Rare card. I'll hope to see you on the next video. See you again soon.